I'm Chef Tammy Brawley with The Green Kitchen, and we're here with a special outdoor edition of Virginia Heart of the Home at Old Tavern Farm in New Kent. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a delicious sweet potato and coconut milk stew with lentils and kale. It does happen to be vegan, absolutely delicious. A lot of times when you hear the word vegan, you kind of turn your nose up a little bit. You won't in this case. We're going to start with a little bit of coconut oil on the bottom of our pan that's warming up. Probably about a tablespoon or so. Also depends on how big your pot is as to how much you would need. If I had a bigger pot with a bigger surface, I would want more oil. To that, we're going to add some chopped onions. Going to let that go for just a couple of moments. And then to the onions, we're actually going to add our spices. We've got some turmeric, we've got some cumin and coriander and some chili flakes. We're going to add those in there. It's going to become very fragrant very quick. It also might make you sneeze, so I wouldn't put your face completely over it. Let it go for about a minute or so. Then we're going to add some chopped ginger and chopped garlic. While that's picking up a little bit of flavor, let's talk about ginger. Ginger is one of the healthiest things in the world that you can eat. This is a ginger rhizome. You can find these in the uh, grocers as well as the farmer's markets. When you get them, you want to make sure you peel the skin off. Some recipes call for grating it, some call for chopping it. It's really up to you and what you're comfortable with. In this case, we find chopped it with the garlic. All right, now we're gonna add some sweet potato. Now, I've already taken the liberty to roast the sweet potato. You can do it with raw sweet potato if you prefer, but I like roasting it because I like, I think that just gives another punch of flavor. So I've cut up the sweet potato, peeled it, cut it up, roasted it in the oven with olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Not only that, not only does it pick up that flavor, it also cuts down on the cooking time. Stir your sweet potato and let it get nice and coated with those spices. And we're gonna also add about a quarter of a cup of lentils. Your recipe is gonna call for brown lentils, but I happen to have green ones on the shelf, so why not use them? Now we're gonna add a little bit of uh, vegetable broth and we're gonna let that come to a simmer. And then we'll come back and add our finishing ingredients. And we'll be back. All right, so now our sweet potato has cooked down nicely. The lentils are ready and we are now ready to add the final touches and that would be a can of full fat coconut milk. Stir that up. And now we're gonna add some delicious fresh kale. I've already chopped up or sort of rough uh, pulled this apart kale. Actually just dumped the whole bag in there. Now it might look like a lot, but as it cooks down, it won't be quite as much. And you can see that nice healthy color it's picked up. Now as this sits overnight, it will thicken up, but if you wanted to serve it right away, it is absolutely perfect, I wouldn't worry about it. If it does thicken up overnight, you can simply add a little bit more vegetable stock to it. So we're gonna go ahead and portion it into our bowl. And there you have it, a delicious sweet potato, coconut milk, lentil and kale stew with some delicious healthy ginger. I'm Chef Tammy Brawley with The Green Kitchen. See you next time on Virginia Heart of the Home. Recipes from the heart of the home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafb.com slash recipes, as well as on Chef Tammy Brawley's website at greenkitchenrichmond.com.